I recently completed my first ever marathon in a time of 3 hours, 20 minutes and 7 seconds. It's now been 3 weeks since my marathon and I thought it was about time I entered another race. So stick around to see what race I've entered and more importantly if I've given myself enough time to prepare. A good morning, welcome back to the channel. I'm going to be completely honest with you, the post-marathon blues have fully kicked in and not having another race booked into the calendar is not helping with my motivation towards running whatsoever. Do you see where this video is going? And to second that, I'm slowly realizing I enjoyed marathon training so much more because I knew I was going to run a marathon at the end of the 16 week training block. The big reveals come in, I promise. Like, don't get me wrong, running for the sake of running is great and I know I'll inevitably run another marathon next year, but in my current state, Running for the sake of running just isn't quite cutting it. So I've entered another race. Now, before I can tell you more, I actually need to go and get a session done because today marks day one of the new training plan for said race. Today's workout is a lovely 6.8 mile easy run and let me tell you, the sun is shining. When I get back, I also have some very important questions to ask you regarding my YouTube channel, so keyboard warriors, be at the ready. But for now, I'll leave you with a hint that I'll actually run a further distance in my training plan than I will on race day. Totally might have just given it away. Let's go run. <laughs> First run of the brand new seven week training block. I'll talk about what race I've entered later on in the video. Today we've got 6.8 miles easy to conquer and trust me when I say I'm going to take it as easy as possible. But honestly today I'll be happy with anything between eight and nine minutes per mile because it just feels good to have a seven week structured training plan in place and a race in the diary to hopefully hit a brand new PB. Let's go get it. And as always, no bad days. One bazillion percent going to be sunburnt tomorrow. Kind of forgot that that's what sun does to you. Hmm. Today's run came in at 6.8 miles in a total time of one hour and 20 seconds with an average pace of eight minutes 51 per mile. And I tell you what, I am so glad that I listened to my body today because I definitely have not had ample recovery time since working basically the entire weekend out in Wolverhampton. However, now that day one of the training plan is complete, we can actually move on to the more exciting part of this video where I get to tell you what race I've entered and also what time I'm going to be aiming for. <laughs> Apple juice is just an elite drink, like, oh. Splendid. Okay, can I get a drum roll please? So in just under seven weeks time, I'm going to be running the Leamington Spa Half Marathon on Sunday the 23rd of June 2024. And just like any other race I've ever entered, I have set myself some goals and the first one of course is my time goal. Now my Half Marathon PB currently stands at 1 hour 34 minutes and 9 seconds and that record has stood for 3 years since I ran my first ever Half Marathon back in 2020. 
2021 during lockdown. But I'm a 320 marathon runner now. Some would even call me experienced when it comes to the 13.1 mile distance. Not experienced in the way of strategy, more experienced in the fact I can run further than 13.1 miles and have done it on countless occasions just for the fun of it. Anyway, in just under seven weeks time, I'm going to try and run a sub 90 minute half marathon. And now it's out there for the world to know. So just to sprinkle some perspective onto that, a 129 half marathon is an average pace of 647 per mile or four minutes 13 per kilometer. That's pretty quick. Now closer to race day, I'll hopefully have a more exact time that I want to aim for. But as of right now, my A goal for this race is sub 130. <laughs> that is ludicrous. I genuinely think that the half marathon might be one of my favorite distances to run. Like it's genuinely got everything I want within a running distance. Now that could completely change now that I'm training to run a faster one. Speaking of which, Let's talk about my training plan for a second. So the actual structure of my training plan is going to be very similar to my marathon training with the aim of running four sessions a week. One easy run, two speed sessions, and then one long run. My weekly mileage is going to average somewhere between 35 to 40 miles per week, which is just slightly lower than what I was averaging for my marathon training for the entire 16 week block. And then alongside this, I'm going to try my hardest to get in the gym twice a week to get some proper good SNC sessions completed. I sadly stopped going to the gym in the final weeks of my marathon prep, mainly because of time restraints within my week. And looking back now, I actually kind of missed the sessions and the feeling I was left with after them. So I'm gonna try so hard over the next seven weeks to get in the gym at least once a week, but really try and prioritize getting both of those sessions done, even if it's just like 35 to 40 minutes worth of strength training, because I am dedicated. Or at least that's what I tell myself. It says here I need something to transition. I don't know how to transition. I'm gonna hit my head. Right, so seven weeks really isn't a lot of time. In fact, it's less than half the amount of time I dedicated to running my entire marathon. What I'm really hoping is the 16 weeks of hard, dedicated training I did for the marathon is still captivated somewhere within this body so I can use that and have a really solid base of fitness to work off of. Or the entire plan could just go completely wrong and I could crash and burn in the process. Either way, the content for you guys will be incredible. But to be honest with you, I really need to set myself scary goals else I just won't try hard enough to achieve them. And saying the words sub 90 minutes for a half marathon, that's pretty scary and it's definitely not something I ever thought I'd do in my entire life. I mean, I've not actually done it yet, but like not something I thought I'd be working toward. You know what I mean? So I may have completely forgot to film the final part of this video, but I do actually have a very important question to ask literally all of you. So please, 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 please just watch for like one more minute. So essentially YouTube's lovely analytics page told me that the majority of people that watch my channel are actually most active on YouTube on a Friday afternoon. So essentially what I want to know is, do you want me to keep uploading on Saturday at 6 p.m. because you like when my videos come out or would you prefer for me to switch to a Friday Friday at 6 p.m. so I upload when you guys are most active on YouTube. Honestly, it's not actually that deep of a question, but I care about your guys' opinion as you are literally the ones who watch the video. So just leave a comment below and let me know when you want me to upload. But sadly, that does bring us to the end of today's video. I am so excited to be starting a new training plan and even more excited that I finally have another race in the calendar. If you want to see more videos from me on your subscription feed, then please consider hitting that subscribe button as it genuinely does mean the absolute world to me. I hope you all have a smashing day and I will catch you all next Saturday or maybe Friday at 6pm. No, bad days. <laughs>